From the Good News Productions International Studios in Joplin, Missouri, it's GNPI Kids Live with Rocky Surface. On the program, Rocky welcomes from Mexico, Norca Escobar de Stover. And now, Rocky Surface. Hello, everybody. Welcome to GNPI Kids Live. I'm Rocky Surface. I heard a funny joke the other day. Tell us, Rock. What's the difference between a flea and a dog? I don't know. A dog can have fleas, but a flea can't have dogs. <laughs> hey, do you know why there are old dinosaur bones in the museum? Why is that, Rock? Because they can't afford new ones. <laughs> Don't go away, we'll be right back with Norca Escobar de Stover. This is Pete and Randy. Pete and Randy are fish. Pete prays for the missionaries in Mexico who provide Christian books to kids in Latin America, while Randy prays for exciting things to happen in his part of the world. Maybe Randy should have prayed for missionaries too. Pete knows world missions are important. Do you? And welcome back, boys and girls. Our guest today is a terrific lady from GNPI, Mexico. Please welcome Norca Escobar de Stover. Norca, welcome to GNPI Kids Live. It's nice to see you. Gracias por invitarme a tu show, Rocky. Now, Mexico isn't very far from the United States. Mexico is just south of the U.S. I live on the Texas-Mexico border, so no matter where I'm at, I can always see Mexico in Texas. I can actually stand on the bridge and have one foot in Mexico and the other one in the U.S. Mexico is so close to the United States, some kids in our audience may have visited there before. But for those who haven't, what's Mexico like? Mexico is a little less than three times the size of Texas. More than 100 million people live here in Mexico, and the climate can vary from tropical to desert. Tell me about Mexican kids. What are they like? What do they do for fun? Mexican kids love to play soccer. They also love fiestas and spicy candy. But hey, Rocky, don't think that Mexican kids are always partying. They also go to school like kids in the U.S. Mexican schools have two shifts. So some kids go to schools in the mornings, while others go to school in the afternoons. So some kids in Mexico do get to sleep in. This is all so exciting. More with Norca right after this. Once upon a time, there were some books that needed to be printed in Mexico to teach children who speak Spanish about Jesus. Johnny and Katie wanted to help, so they ordered water instead of a soft drink every other time they went to a restaurant. They saved about $5 each month. $5 is not enough to print books, but it sure helped. The end. Hey, what can you do to make a difference like Johnny and Katie? We've been chatting with Norca Escobar de Stover about Mexico. Norca, you've been working on a really exciting new project for kids at the GNPI Mexico office. Tell us about that. Actually, we're working on a children's book about a beautiful macaw called Maya. This book is written entirely in Spanish, which is the language spoken by most of the kids in Mexico. So I have a little trouble pronouncing the title. Help me out, Norca. Maya la bella guacamaya, which means Maya the beautiful macaw. Without giving away the ending, of course, tell us Maya's story. Well, Maya is a beautiful red macaw who lives in a rainforest. All the animals are always talking about how beautiful she is and her colorful feathers, and she just starts believing that she's better than all her friends. But one day, Something happens, and Maya has to learn the hard way that it's not good to be prideful. You're doing some great work. I have one more question before I let you go. If you could ask the kids in the audience to remember just one thing, what would it be? That no matter what you look like on the outside, Rocky, God looks at your heart.
Norca, we're so glad you joined us from Piedras Negras, Mexico. Norca Escobar de Stover, everybody. Our guest tomorrow from GNPI India is Sheila Law. I can't wait. We'll see you then. So long, everybody. Yeah.